Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. And I hope you had a great weekend and a wonderful Mother's Day. We really could not have asked for any better weather than what we got, especially today and especially considering we now have some rain chances returning as we head into the next couple of days and for the start of the work week. Nothing out there right now, though, on live Doppler radar. And the latest data into the weather center that I've been looking at this evening keeps us mainly dry now for the rest of tonight and not too wet even for most of tomorrow morning. Picks up our chances for at least some scattered showers and a few thunder showers tomorrow afternoon into the early evening. Let's take a look here at our rainfall uh, kind of forecast for the next three days and you can easily see that Tuesday looks like a wetter day than Monday. That is going to be kind of when our rain chances peak over the next few days, especially Tuesday afternoon. Still not a washout for Tuesday, but that'll be when we see the most numerous showers and thunder showers and some of those heavier pockets of rain tomorrow though at least some scattered showers and maybe a thunder shower will move through again especially in the afternoon early evening some areas won't get much of anything others for the most part will be around a tenth to a quarter of an inch those amounts though will be heavier on Tuesday quarter inch to around a half inch for a lot of us and a few places uh, even perhaps getting up to around an inch and then we'll be drying out as we head into uh, and through Wednesday and Thursday. Now we've been watching our Owensboro Tower Cam, our Bill Morgan roofing and construction one on the Hampton Inn in downtown Owensboro a lot this weekend. It's been doing the best uh, at night, especially Friday night and last night a little bit of picking up on those northern lights. There is still some of that solar storm activity going on and it may increase some later tonight, giving us another chance at that. The problem is we've got more of those clouds moving in as we go to uh, through tonight. So our viewing certainly not as uh, optimal as it has been the past couple of nights under those clear skies. There's Evansville's east side, our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union Tower camera there at Deaconess Gateway Hospital. We have now cooled back down through the 70s and falling into the upper 60s. Now we're at 67 at the airport in Evansville and the wind is calm. Air is still a very dry, so we'll continue to fall through the 60s and I think wind up in the upper 50s to around 60 for an overnight low. You can see all of us kind of in the middle 60s right now. We won't get as warm tomorrow as we did today with more clouds and some scattered showers moving through, but I have upped our highs just a little bit uh, with some new information coming in this evening. So I think we'll be in general about the mid-70s, 75 in Evansville. Warmer though up here in the northeast corner. Uh, highs will get up to around 80. May see a little more sun and less of a chance for some scattered showers. And then mid-70s uh, back to the west. So here's Storm Tracker. And you can see to our west and south, that's where we have a couple areas of showers and some thunderstorms. And that will all kind of gradually work toward and then slowly through the tri-state over the next couple of days. So let's look at the timing of this hour by hour will gradually increase the clouds more overnight. Still could be some sun mixing in uh, tomorrow morning with those clouds. And you can see not too much rain even through noon. But then afternoon, we've got some scattered showers to our southwest that will try to work through at least parts of the tri-state southwest to northeast in the afternoon. This is 5 p.m. Still could have some scattered showers around in the evening and even a few more coming through overnight into Tuesday morning. Again, not a washout and certainly uh, not everybody getting uh, some of those heavier pockets of rain. And then on Tuesday, we'll see some spotty showers in the morning, but this is noon. We'll see them become more numerous uh, with showers and some thunder showers in the afternoon. Still kind of off and on though. And then they should quickly start to uh, die down as we go through Tuesday evening and Tuesday night. Some clouds will linger into Wednesday, but it does look like a pretty dry day. So here's your forecast for the rest of tonight. Increasing clouds, upper 50s, clouds, a little sun tomorrow with scattered showers and a thunder shower, especially in the afternoon, breezy highs in the mid 70s. Showers and thunder showers more numerous on Tuesday, especially in the afternoon, ending Tuesday night. Much drier for Wednesday and Thursday. Low 70s Wednesday, pushing 80, it looks like, on Thursday. And then still looks like another good shot at some showers at some point Thursday night into Friday. If that timing holds, though, we should at least dry out for the first part of the weekend. And then right now, just a smaller chance for some showers returning by this time next week on Sunday. Cody? All right. Thank you, Stacy. Well, still to come, a manhunt is underway after an Ohio police officer is shot and killed. We'll details on what happened. And an unusual sight among the skyscrapers of New York. Still to come, meet the turkey who 